Restoring the Difficult Class 2 by Dr. Mark Gottlieb. Today, more of our patients want white fillings. The classic look of a Toffelmeyer band and amalgam fillings are no longer acceptable. There are many systems out there that prevent overhanging margins, create proper contours, and will bring a tooth back to function. The key to success is to separate the teeth over time. I pre-wedge all my teeth and then I use a separating ring system that allows the teeth to be constantly under pressure to compensate for the thickness of the matrix band. Here we have a clinical case of a lower molar where the mesial buccal cusp is about to fracture. When this piece breaks off or the tooth is prepared, it will be difficult to place a matrix band and prevent the separating ring from crushing the matrix band into the box. After removing all the decay and completing the preparation, you can easily place a matrix band between the teeth. Now here is the challenging part. Once the matrix band is in place, when you place the separating ring on top of the tooth, you notice the pressure of the ring crushes the matrix band into the box, making it impossible to recontour that band back to normal shape and contour. While utilizing the ABC wedge, we can now place that wedge between the teeth, sealing off the gingival floor. The wedge itself forms a wall or support so that when we place the separating ring on top of the tooth, it no longer crushes the, the matrix band into the preparation. Here you have the final restoration showing the ideal form and function with an ideal tight forcible contact. So how did this concept evolve? Well one day I was cleaning up cement and then I realized as I'm looking at it this would make the ideal interproximal wedge. So the next logical step was to develop some prototypes. And this was accomplished by placing a wooden sycamore wedge between some teeth and then laying formatray acrylic on top of it as you can see, it's adapted to the tooth structure very well. To help line up and center the rings, a little groove was placed along the back. This groove also prevents the rings from dislodging or popping out of the mouth. Once I was satisfied with my prototype, I then scanned it in using CAD CAM technology to develop a set of wedges that can be placed from the buccal and lingual. And as you see, they now slide past each other, separating the teeth and swedging them together. For small, narrow teeth, you may need to modify the tips to fit into the embrasure space. The ABC wedges are available in four sizes and available in left and right configurations. They are extra small, small, medium, and large. As you can see, they adapt well to the interproximal space. The tip is flexible enough to adapt to the interproximal surface. This creates a really nice tight seal, preventing any material or flash from extending beyond your preparation. The ABC wedges are simple to use and come in a convenient delivery system. This next patient presents with a clitical fracture of an old amalgam and radiographic evidence of decay underneath the existing amalgam. Upon examination of the final preparation, you can see there's still a little bit of decay left in the proximal box, but it's bilaterally symmetrical. It's, uh, it spreads evenly on both sides, making it difficult to put a separating ring on without crushing the matrix band once again into the box. I'll modify the wedges with a diamond football-shaped diamond burr to clear the rubber dam clamp and then place the wedges on the buccal and lingual, sealing off the gingival floor. The tooth is then incrementally filled with the composite of your choice. A bulk reduction is done with the diamond burr. Separating ring removed and the matrix band teased out with a really strong plier or hemostat and needle holder. My final case is an example of a difficult class two composite where the patient fractured off the lingual cusp of a lower first bicuspid in contact with a cuspid where the contact area is so narrow that it's very difficult to get separation with a separating ring. As with all my cases, I pre-soak my wedge and then pre-wedge my teeth to start the separating process. I explained to this patient while we're there, we might as well replace the amalgam that's in the cuspid. The patient agreed to this treatment, and while I had direct access, I removed the amalgam and replaced it with an aesthetic composite. The extra small ABC wedge was trimmed and modified to clear the rubber dam clamp and papilla. As you can see, the separating ring rests in the groove, it's placed in approximately, and the groove prevents the ring from riding up the cingular area and popping out of the mouth. The final restoration is very aesthetic and functional for the patient. There are some additional challenges when trying to use a separating ring system. When you look down into this preparation, you notice that the gingival floor is not sealed. The newer V-ring style separating rings straddle a conventional wedge thereby preventing the wedge from adapting to the gingival floor or being pressed against the gingival line angle, sealing off that part of the cavity preparation. Here we have a V-style ring straddling a wedge, preventing the wedge from adapting to the tooth. Compared to an ABC wedge, 
where the tip comes through on the buckle, and now the tip can be flexed against the tooth and sealed off with the separating ring. I would like to thank you for listening to this short program on how to restore the difficult class 2 utilizing the ABC wedge, a separating ring, and a matrix band. If you would like additional information, you can contact me through my website at www.anxietyfreedental.com.